All right, guys, so it is week 57. 57 weeks since I bought these two red tail catfish. And look at how big they're getting. <laughs> they are huge. Massive fish. Wow. And it is early spring. The snow is finally melting up here in the mountains of Colorado. Everything's warming up, so this will be their their first summer up here. Well, actually, second summer, right? Because <laughs> it's already been over a year these guys have been in my hot tub, which is crazy. All right, so I'm going to turn off the pump here. Got my little cheat sheet. Week 57. Yes, there's 52 weeks in a year. The past 52. And they have been in here for a year, getting some good use out of this hot tub. That's for sure. That hot tub's been sitting there for like 20 years, not being used. Because it leaked, and the heater was out, and... It was just <laughs> non-functional. And what I did is I actually I actually plugged the all the jets. I, there's little screw-in caps you can plug in all the jets. You can actually see them here. And I plugged them with these little plugs. I actually put a little silicone in there. I don't know if I can actually get them out. <laughs> They're probably permanently in there. But yeah, it's it's a it's gonna be a catfish hot tub at least until they outgrow it i was actually considering uh upgrading uh my hot tub i think this guy got all the feedings <laughs> i haven't really been paying attention uh let's see i got a really thick piece here i think it's thawed out look at how thick that is super thick all right we want this guy to get a little bit here come on buddy this guy is a pig. He just keeps coming back for more and more. <laughs> All right. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right. And he's getting bigger, too, because he's getting most of the food. Getting bigger than the other one, that's for sure. Uh, this fish, a little bit cold since it came out of the freezer. Got to make sure these bigger pieces are completely thawed out, which I think they are here. Ah, <laughs> he's getting all the food. Let me see. I got another one here. Give it to this other guy over here. Well, maybe. Seems like that one doesn't get as much food because he's a little bit more bashful. I don't know why. It's not as bold coming up for the food. But boy, these guys are getting really big. Here he comes again. <laughs> Yeah, I do not want to give him the food. <laughs> it's kind of nice that since I'm hand feeding them, they come right up that I can, you know, specify, you know, if one's looking a little thin, I can actually kind of specifically give one more food than the other. All right. Next one that comes up, I want to feed it. Doesn't matter. I've been feeding quite a bit here. So this is kind of a... Average feeding, I'd say. All right, got a little bit more here. Then we'll put the rest in the bottom. So I think these guys are still fine as far as not outgrowing this hot tub. I, I'm thinking they could stay in here for at least another six months, maybe another year. If they were twice as big, I don't know. Maybe that'd be kind of pushing it though. I know they can get four feet long, <laughs> four to five feet long. Yeah. Four feet. Yeah, they would definitely outgrow this. I think there's, yeah, they'd be, <laughs> it'd be like a bathtub, four feet long. Of course, uh, I think I'm limited to like the bottom area. I should measure that uh, as far as, you know, the. You definitely don't want to <laughs> get them too cramped in here. Now I'll have to figure out where in the world I'm going to put them after this. I have another, actually I have another extra bedroom down here that I'm not really using. It's currently uh, getting phased out of what I have, actually have in it. That I could put something in there, maybe a big indoor pond, which would be pretty cool. 
I'm gonna feed just a couple little niblets here <laughs> on the bottom. So I'm feeding cod and tilapia today. All right, so I'm gonna finish up with some underwater video.